This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a bedroom planner, stored by Ken Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Neo EL8, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how blistering fast it charges. It can hit 240 kilowatts, but this is 400 volt architecture. So, how is it possible? Well, it cranks up the current to 660 amps, and it's only achievable on Neo's own chargers and Tesla supercharger V2, V3. When you go to Ionity or Alpetronic, they are capped at 500 amps, then you get around 190 kilowatt or something. I haven't tested, but uh, yes. Let me now show you a comparison between some other cars here. So we include some uh, 400 volt cars, but also 800 volts. That's the Q6 e-tron. And you see that it has a slight slow ramp up, the, the EL8. But then we hit 240 kilowatts, roughly there. Uh, unfortunately, this screen doesn't show you current or voltage, uh, the Tesla screen. But uh, wow, look at that. So it can actually maintain 240, actually going a little bit above it. Not sure if that is including some cooling or something else, but uh, really impressive charging speed. Okay. It doesn't charge as fast as Q6 e-tron, but still faster than the iX and the EQS we have on the right side there, huh? Those are, yeah, you know, more expensive cars even. But okay, at around 30%, then it starts throttling a little bit, but it's still taking over 200 kilowatts. Really impressive on the EL8. And well, actually, right now, it seems like it even has a slightly flatter curve than the Q6. You see, Q6 is down to 200 kilowatt now. Oh, okay, EL8 is also down to around 200 uh, ish kilowatt. But this is what I've been talking for the longest time that as long as the battery cells and the battery pack and the cooling or whatever is you know, powerful enough or good enough, then you can actually have this nice and flat charging curve without having 800 volt hyped up architecture. So the reason why the EQS and the IX doesn't charge that fast, well, I don't know, but um, apparently the Chinese people are better than the Germans but it's with, with designing batteries. But uh, yeah, the, the Q6 is still in the lead now, 61%, and then EL8 is on a good second. And then the EQS and IX, they are on kind of a third and fourth, uh, kind of a little bit battling back and forth there. But look, okay, go, go back to EL8. Look at that charging speed. Even at almost 70%, it can still maintain nice flat curve, similar to what the Q6 can, you know? So and actually way faster than the EQS and the IX, so we're gonna look at the charging curve afterwards, but um, right now still this Q6 has a little lead, but uh, actually the EL8 is charging slightly faster than the Q6, wow! Very impressive, man, the Chinese, they are coming big time now. The Germans should be worried, <laughs> oh shit! Uh, and also EL8 is so far ahead of IX and EQS, it's almost embarrassing to be German right now to see how much faster the EL8, the EL8 hit 80% after 22 minutes. That is quite legit, yeah. Um, most uh, 800 volt hyped cars, they usually uh, brag about around 18 to 20, 21 minutes, and the EL8 could do it in 22, you know? And then just look how far behind EQS and IX is. They haven't even hit 70%. Yeah, okay, EQS hit 70%, about time. But yeah, okay, right now, yeah, okay, the speed on the EL8 goes a bit slower, but look at Q6 e-tron. Seems like Q6 was optimized to go quite schnell to 80%, but then you just plummet, blah, 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 blah. Whereas the EL8 can actually maintain decent speed past it, so it seems like actually the EL8 is gonna take the win to 90%. What the heck is going on here? Huh? Look at that. Come on, come on, come on. Go to 90%. The Neo Bjorn approves. 90% EL8. Germans go home. Oh shit. Faster than Q6 e-tron. So that was at the 31 minute mark. Let's see how many uh, more minutes uh, e-tron needs to hit um, 90%. Oh, okay, okay. Only two minutes behind roughly. Or yeah, yeah, there, there, there. Okay. Hey, wait, huh? Look, look at, look at IX. It's 80 percent. <laughs> EQS is at 84 percent. Well, you pay the premium price, you get some of the slowest charging cars in this price range. Okay, in this class. But actually, EL8 seems to also go quite fast to 100 percent. I'm not sure if I want to sit around and wait for 100 percent. Actually, the Q6 didn't go to 100 percent. Took too long. But um, yeah, okay. Right now, it's not much. Um, uh, the EQS and the IX, they are at some, some somewhat low state of charge compared to the, the two to the left. That's why it appears that they are charging faster. But uh, well, actually, IX has okay charging curve at high state of charge. Wait, let's see. <clears throat> Which car is going to go? Okay, EQS went to 90%. Well, so IX is the slowest charging car here. Ah, man. Okay. But look at that. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Are we, uh, it's gonna be too total humiliation now that uh, the EL8 will hit nine. Uh, okay, now you wait a minute. EL8 hit 96% at least, okay. 
by the time IX hit 90%, holy macaroni. Okay, but at this point, yeah, the ELH goes quite slow, only 17 kilowatts, 16 kilowatts. Is this the time for the Germans to come back and uh, win? Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, but we can we can always just end the video before we see what happens, right? Yeah, and here we see that um, uh, the, the EL8 has a, sl a slightly slower ramp up than some of the other cars, but at least it hits um, yeah 240 ish kilowatts. Q6 is faster, but it seems like the EL8 has a slightly flatter curve than the Q6, but they're kind of following each other like shadows. But then towards the end, you see here, wow, EL8 has flatter curve than the Q6, but also flatter curve than the EQS and the, the IX, um, the IX, if that was IX50. So, man, uh, you know, in the past, I always thought that, oh, Germans, they're all about flat curves. Well, I think again, it seems like the Chinese people are they're making better and better battery packs now. So, yeah, that means that, you know, think about this. In the past, it was always about if you want to get premium soundproofing, premium interior, uh, you have to get German. And also, German cars like Fat e-tron, they have nice and flat charging curve. Uh, but then the Chinese, like Neo, they offered nice interior incredibly good soundproofing also fast cars this this beast here goes co 200 in 3.8 seconds on spec it's 4.1 second you know and we have massage we have uh, refrigerator or hot box we have cooling in the seat of course you know we have all the luxury features that you find in more expensive german cars but then for the longest time the germans they could hold on to one last thing which is that they had fast charging flat curve well not anymore we have the neo we have xpeng and we have even more chinese coming so yeah i think that's gonna be for now hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later